Hey there YouTube, it is Nick with Feeding Fitness and it is All You Can Eat Wednesday. I'm just waking up as you can tell. I don't know, I think I'm shaving this again. The fact that I have to wake up and it uh, isn't ready to go, mm, not working, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, anyways, let's get into All You Can Eat Wednesday. This is All You Can Eat Wednesday 3.0. The recomp is over and it's back to bulking. I'm going to do at least another five weeks of bulking, maybe 10. We'll see how fast the weight comes on. Ideally, I'm only going to gain about half a pound a week, so in 10 weeks I should gain five pounds and that's fine. But as we know, these things rarely work out ideally, so we'll see. Um, anyways, to get things started today, Dannon Light and Fit Greek Yogurt. Got the banana and cream. Um, back to the crumpets, thanks to suggestions by y'all. Um, I'm trying them with some sugar-free syrup. I've had them this way before. It actually worked out really well. And because I just woke up at 11.20, and by the way, I'm eating you know breakfast again. I wasn't doing that during the recon, but I am. Um, I've got some coffee. And this feels a little dirty because I've got my Bent Tree Coffee and my Mugswig Mug. Those are like my two favorite coffee places and this feels like um, you know, wearing the shirt my girlfriend bought me to go out to the bar to hit on other girls. <laughs> so anyways, um, this coffee is peanut butter and jelly. Oh, and it's so weird because right there, right there is where you taste the peanut butter and jelly. It's not artificially flavored. They found coffee and made a blend that naturally has like a peanut butter and jelly aftertaste. Um, so if any of you are curious, that's Bent Tree Coffee. They're out of Kent, Ohio, and I'm pretty sure you can order it online. But the uh, peanut butter and jelly coffee, it's insane because when you look at it, you assume, oh, they artificially flavored it. But if you've ever been in this place, they're not artificially flavoring anything. They found natural coffee flavors to make it taste like peanut butter and jelly. So, so I don't know what um, I'm gonna eat for the rest of the day yet. I do know I, it is a training day. I don't think I'll eat anything else before I go to the gym. And I also have school tonight, so we'll figure out how everything's gonna work out. Alright guys, just getting back from the gym, going to do some post-workout cereal. And we're going to do a peanut butter crunch um, mixed with some MTS uh, banana cream pie. So we've got a nice uh, peanut butter uh, banana crunch going on. Um, Cap and Crunch macros aren't terrible. We have for one serving, and I'm eating two, uh, we've got 110 calories, um, 12 or 21 carb, 2.5 fat, and two protein. And then I've got uh, almond milk in that. So I'm gonna eat this, and then um, I'll probably either have another snack before I go to class, or I will um, take something with me. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm gonna head off to class. Not bringing much with me, just the essentials. One monster energy drink to stay awake during class. And one Quest style protein bar. This is peanut butter and jelly. Um, so to make this, I used um, the regular recipe with peanut butter, MTS whey, and then cut up dried strawberries. So I have not tried this. I will let you guys know if I liked it or not. Um, but I think it's going to be awesome. All right, guys, I am home from school and I am super hungry. So this is what my fiance made me. How lucky am I? Just get to walk home to dinner. And I've got some steak stir fry. We've got steak and sugar snap peas and broccoli and onions and I think poblano peppers and rice. And then the seasoning, I think there's some soy sauce on here. I use the lower sodium soy sauce. They can't really call it low because even lower sodium soy sauce has a lot of sodium. Um, and then Sriracha makes a different product. I'm going to actually show you guys this. It's not your regular Sriracha sauce. It is chili garlic sauce. I guess Sriracha isn't the company, but it's the Hoi Fung Foods. You know, you always have the cock on there. So same people who make the good brand of Sriracha sauce um, also make this stuff. So really good, really spicy, and zero calorie. All right, dinner was really, really good. And speaking of really good, I forgot to mention the peanut butter and jelly Quest Bar. Really, really good. So, one of the things I missed the most while I was doing my recomp, recomp diet was East Slow Churned Ice Cream. So, we are gonna have some luscious red velvet cake. 
I'm gonna do three servings, but per serving, typical Edie's calories, 100, two fat, 18 carb, two protein. Looks really good. I really love this stuff, and yeah, it was hard not being able to have this. All right, guys, we're gonna have a little snack here. Um, need to get some fats in, so here's what I'm having. I've got a little lesson that goes along with this snack. These are cheeseburger sliders. There are two of them. Now, I bought these, and I didn't pay a ton of attention to the macros. I assumed that they wouldn't be too terrible because they were small. So, let's look at these. Servings per container, four. And you get two little sliders in a package, and there are four packages. So, if, if there are four servings per container, that would make one serving two of the sliders. 140 calories, 3.5 fat, 18 carb, 9 protein. 140 calories for two mini burgers on bread with cheese. That seems too good to be true. And here's the deal. It is too good to be true. Now you know that's not right. There's no way that those burgers, two of them are 140 calories. It just doesn't go in line with what a product like that would be. So how do you go about handling that? Normally I just wouldn't buy that product, but this one I thought, well, hey, let me scan it. When I scanned it, it brought up the nutrition facts on my fitness pal, where it said one slider had 140 calories, so two of them would be 280. Now that sounds much more in line and much more realistic. I also bought the exact same brand, it was sitting right next to it, chicken sliders, and it's the same deal. You get two in a package, but on the chicken sliders, one serving is two sliders, and the calories are 270. So there's no way that, you know, one burger is 140 calories and two chickens is 270. You know what I'm saying? There's no way, I mean, there's no way that two burgers have almost half the calories as two chickens. So that's one where you know it's too good to be true, but with just a little bit of investigating, you can figure out what the macros really are. So enough about the screwed up macros on my sliders that I'm now confident are correct. Um, I'm also gonna need to get some fruit in, so I'll have an apple. And then somebody mentioned in one of the comments about getting the potato flavored magic pops. Um, I have them here and I've had them before. This is the closest thing you're gonna get to potato chips for low calorie in existence. This is amazing. This to me feels like eating, you know, half a bag of potato chips because you get so much. The taste is pretty similar, but the macros, man, 15 calories, which means the whole thing is 225 calories. That's maybe one and a half servings of like decent potato chips, but instead you're gonna get this whole freaking thing. So really, if we're having burgers and chips, um, this is a pretty low calorie way to do it. Okay guys, getting ready to go to bed, so I'm gonna finish things off, show you the macros. So what do we have? A new brand of Woats. These are jammin' strawberry shortbread. There's two servings. Woats, pretty high calorie, good for bulking. Six fat, 16 carb, three protein. Like I said, that's one serving, I'm gonna do two. Um, this flavor is really good. I kind of like all the different flavors. I haven't had a bad flavor of Woats yet, so we'll do a Boston Cream Pie Light and Fit. These are really tasty. Miss Finster, Mrs. Finster is back. <clears throat> Her cookies are amazing and the macros are awesome. 130 calories, 6 fat, 19 carb, 1 protein for 5 of those cookies. Now, Mrs. Thinster can make a mean cookie, but looking at those arms, I don't think she even lifts. Maybe Mr. Thinster lifts? I doubt it. All right, four pieces of Hello, My Name is Coffee Blast. These are awesome. They're really, really good. Macros on these, good for the uh, up in the fats. 220 calories, 15 fat, 21 carb, three protein. Like stuff like this and the woats and the cookies were all things that you just couldn't do on the recomp diet because they had lots of fats and lots of carbs, which just didn't work. A banana to get two fruits in. So there's all of that. Now let's see how the macros did. All right, total fat 76. Goal is a minimum of 70, so that's good. Carbs 493 with 55 being fiber. That's just fine. And then protein 217, and I like to get over uh, 200 or 210. So all in all, pretty good day. So that's it for All You Can Eat Wednesday. If you like the video, 
please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Questions, comments down below or over at Facebook at facebook.com upslash feedingfitness. And I'll see you guys next time.